The Hurricanes, a season-long dream, was realized last week in Tallahassee. Tonight, as the nation's top-ranked team, their claim of being number one will be put to a test. Welcome to Alumni Stadium, Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, as tonight the top-ranked Hurricanes of Miami are in town to take on the Eagles of Boston College, who are closing out their season here at home. Uh, you might look for anything. I mean, BC for reverses on kickoffs or whatever, right? So you really have to. You have to take every chance and every opportunity you can to make something happen. This is three yards deep, and Dukes is going to return it. No chance for any tricks right here tonight for Boston College. A red-headed Irishman, a quarterback, why not? He's out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And Glenn Foley, only sophomore, has been playing very well. Mark Chimera, one of the premier tight ends in the country. Watch for number 89 a lot tonight. He'll be playing on Sundays next year. And Dan Britton, certainly the best and the most consistent of the offensive linemen for Boston College. And, of course, they have an extremely big task tonight. So Miami will kick it over again. Let's see if Boston College takes it straight away. They will. It's Duke. Got a big opening. Wow. He gets pounded with a head-high tackle. Kevin Patrick, one of the men to keep an eye on in a very talented front four. Sophomore, he's making a name for himself. The linebacker is very active, very good. Barrow is playing with an injured ankle, but we'll still call his name a lot tonight. And the veteran of the secondary. Watch for number eight, Curly Brown. Another good one out of Merritt Island, Florida. Dead ball, false start on the offense, five yards, first down. Somebody making the call just a moment ago. Campbell gets the handoff. He'll take it for about four, up around the 25. Foley, first pass of the night, good protection, and that's Chimura. And it is intercepted by Barrow. Barrow took it away from him at the 30-yard line. See how they're trying to keep him from coming off the line of scrimmage? Ball's thrown a little bit to his left. Just picked off by Michael Barrow for a nice interception. Stephen McGuire, blockers in front and a deep flag. And let's meet the starters on offense for Miami tonight as the Hurricanes are flagged for holding. Gino Toretto out of Pinole, California. Very consistent performer this year. The leading receiver for the Hurricanes. Watch for number 36, Lamar Thomas tonight. And a very fine Three. offensive line. Ten yards. Repeat first down. Go deep. Take it deep. Go Wire again. Huge opening. Has five. Has ten. Counted off at 15. On a second down and short. Two tight ends. Moore and Bell in the ball game for the Hurricanes. McGuire. Oh, he just puts the head down and says, who can I run over for Boston College tonight? Mike Marinero. Very good player. Very good name. He is a, a cousin to Ed. And Tom McManus. Far and away the leading tackler on this football team. You'll, you'll hear his name time and time again tonight. And Michael Reed in the secondary. He's the best cover guy. Number 17. Great play fake. It's Coleman the tight end. Coleman Bell. Run the football on Stephen McGuire to have a big, big night. You see the guards out front. That's Searcy. McGuire going to be stopped at about the four at the 30-yard line. The interception. As Barrow picked it off, and that's the one thing that the BC coaches said they couldn't do against this football team. McGuire gets cracked hard by McManus. Coleman Bell. Bumble the snap. Where to? <laughs> Put it on the ground. He was going to uh, do a little Jim Thorpe action there. A little drop kick. And here's the counter action that Mike was talking about. The play fake. And look at the back of the end zone. Coleman Bell all alone. And what does Toretta think? Well, he gets to look at it a little bit, and he says, I'll help you out. It is a touchdown. Let's take a break. Coleman Bell in the back of the end zone. It's going to come down to Duke at the three. I'll tell you what, 
that is two tackles in a row. Great job. Loosening up on the sidelines with the snap. Face mask on the kicking team. Five yards. First down. Miller in motion. Whistles and Boston College. On the offense. So. Carried by Duke. Correct what I said. I forgot the five yard penalty. That's going to be a 17 yard gain. So far and away, the longest run from Strinic. Campbell this time, and Darnell will have maybe one. Now, two tight ends this time for BC. Foley, second pass of the night as the flag comes down. That's going to be holding, it looks like, as his thrown complete. Then they can say grace over right now. Jesse Armstead, number one. We didn't think we'd see him tonight. He was injured. Throw it out of the backfield, and Armstead fell down. Miller will take it to the 39-yard line. So, it's 5 248. Bowling, blocked it. Has a man wide open at the 40-yard line. It's Miller, and he will take it to the 34. They threw an interception on the last one, so this is their deepest penetration of the night. Dukes and all of a sudden just what Miami didn't want. This is Campbell. Has five, has ten, got it off at 13. Good heavens. Keep an eye on number 89, Shamira. He is their favorite receiver and particularly down here, although Miami is bumping him at the line of scrimmage on every play. This time Dukes is going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Watch Mark Shamira in the flat. Take it to the five. Sonny Lubbock told us yesterday that he's terribly concerned about what we're going to see with formation. Caesar will make the hit, but Darnell Campbell takes it very close. I think he's going to have the first down. Shamira with a touchdown. The head coach, what does he think? Well, on the sideline, he says, we thought it would work against the Blitz. Even it does. BC leads. We'll take a break. The Boston College has just scored the first touchdown this year in the first quarter against Miami. Here comes the pooch kick. He's going to try to keep it away from William. He's going to get it anyway at the 18-yard line. Ball is loose. Miami recovers. Wow. Round pick by somebody, depending on who's looking for tight end. Ends. Ball, false start on the offense. There's a lot of speed out there in that open side of the field. Ah! Toretta will be pushed out of bounds. McGuire. Set down hard at the 40, but dead ball, illegal snap on the offense. Five yards. Glenn Foley told us yesterday the whole key is to beat them psychologically. They're going to throw the book at them. Trick plays, different formations in every single drive. Something else to keep in mind: Miami has not lost to an unranked team in 49 games. Second down on the line to make is midfield. Coretta has it complete to Coleman Bell, and the tight end is going to be stopped. Jesse McManus coming right up the middle. Quick pass is caught, and that's going to be enough for the first down. Martin Patton has come to the ball game at the running back, number 32. Jim in motion out to the sideline. Coretta. Down to the 41, Dan Kerr. McGuire turns the corner and 
and gets down to the 32-yard line. You see BC still moving around. Toretta, Coleman Bell, the tight end, weaving his way inside the 15 down to the 14. Five of six for 42 yards passing. As Patton tries to cut a little too quick, loses his footing. Toretta sings it. Kevin Williams had to go right through his hands. Third down, the line to make is the five. Blitz from the outside, and now here comes a flag. We may have offensive holding as well. And that linebacker sees that backfield. Dead ball, ball start on the offense. Pushes it back to the 19-yard line, and now this will be a 36-yard attempt. Huerta tries to put the Hurricanes back on top. He got it. I'll tell you what, they had con they had connection problems again. Moore had problems handling the snap, and where to maintain his concentration is still knocked it through. The Lone Star State, 7.30 Eastern Time. This coming Thursday. This is Duke. And I'll tell you, this is where the Miami team speed makes it to Murphy. Throws it. Camaro, the tight end at the 30-yard line. That'll be enough for the BC first down. Smith is there to jam him almost every time when he comes off the line of scrimmage. Complete at the 37-yard line. Duke. And Dukes is hit at the line of scrimmage. Almost did not make connections, and they're not going to have the first down. Kushner kicks it away. Toretta sings it over the middle. Great protection, but he misses the mark looking for Coleman Bell. And now it's going to be a third down. And That's complete at the 40-yard line. Lamar Thomas opened it up for Lamar Thomas. So big third down conversion for the Hurricanes. As Patton goes on the running play, check it, Larry Jones at the end of the first 15 minutes, leading the Boston College Eagles by a score of 9 to 7. Larry Jones, I want to see if that 7.2 will hold up in this quarter, with McGuire gone for the rest of the game. Reverse. McManus again tonight as they lose 10 yards in that last play. Michael Reed is the deep man and he stays away from it. It's a big Miami roll and goes out of bounds at the 18 yard. Foley avoids the pressure, gets it away, and that's going to be incomplete. Jameer is the man that he wanted. Repeat first half. You know, a lot of big rivalries across the country today. It's Mitchell in motion is the pitch back comes to Duke. It, he gets whacked out of bounds. Third down of the line to make is the 28 yard line. over the middle Armstead will hit him with a head high tackle at the 20 yard line good driving spiral Williams on the run and a 
flag goes down. Williams is going to be tripped up now. A second and a third flag. Quick pass, Copeland, near sideline, ball's loose. That belongs to Boston College. Charlie Brenham. All back pass. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Caught. That's Mitchell. <laughs> Aesthetically, it left a little to be desired. Third down, the line to make is the 15 of Miami. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Foley gets it away. That is going to be pass interference. Farms caught the football anyway because it was low and away. Well, I think Charlie Farms. Boston College trailing 9 to 7. But driving. Campbell will take it to the 15 yard line. Mitchell in motion. That's Dukes. Blockers in front, and he's going to be down to the 11-yard line. Boston College needs about two and a half yards. Campbell. Second effort. He is close. I don't think he got it, though. Different code names so your players don't get confused. Dukes going to be hit with an ankle high tackle and stop for no gain. Now Mitchell in motion. Campbell with the carry, and he takes it down to the one. Scramble. Miami's got the football at the 11-yard line. Dukes coughed it up. Nobody touched him. Look for Miami. See if they'll just go downtown on this one. Toretta. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. Backside pressure. And that one is first hop to Bell. I they think screen now, the way they're starting to blitz him. They need to make the 22 yard line. Toretta zings it and incomplete. Threw it behind Copeland. To look into the face of Michael Reed, number 17. Driving spiral. will be stopped at the 46-yard line. Thanks, Adrian. Well, that's the point that, that Mike and I were making earlier, that, you know, with McGuire not there. Mitchell with a great catch. Mitchell's from Bloomfield, Michigan, rather than Minnesota. Dukes, he will be hit behind the line of scrimmage and knocked down. Flag has come down. As Armstead, yep, going to be holding against the Eagles of Miami. Shovel pass. You see the way his angle trying to kick it away from Williams. Searcy inside. They were going to take it to his side Both of the field. On the offense. Repeat first down. This is Patton. David Jones is the man he was blocking on. Swings the pass out to Patton. Breaks it open. Has a couple of men to beat. It's going to be finally stopped at the Toretta now 99 yards in the touchdown. He's 8 of 16 throwing. Patton spread him out and look at this hole. He goes for 10 and now 12 yards. The Hurricanes leading by two and driving. Patton. Searcy in front. And he's going to be stopped. Maybe a gain of one. Second down for the Hurricanes. Boy, look at Patton. Another huge hole for him, and he'll take it down to the 11-yard line. And that's going to be holding against the Hurricane. Already equaled their game average.
Pressure up the middle. It is caught by Bell. Yeah, he held on. He spun over for a moment. Six receptions now for Bell. Running play. I don't know if he got the first down or not. Jones off the right side. He'll have the first down. Look at Boston College dropping in those two outside people. And here comes the blitz up the middle. Pass is, oh my goodness. Michael Reed just dropped six points. Five-step drop. Great shot complete to Spencer, and he'll be out of bounds at the two-yard line. Two tight ends in the ball game for the Miami Hurricanes on first and goal. This is a ninth play on the drive. Patton will take it to the, he says, touchdown. He converts this one. Duke's on the run. Ball gets by him. Mitchell. And he stays in bounds. It's Darren Smith is coming into this one, and Pete Mitchell had 24. Foley. And that's Mitchell again. That clears it for the other tight end, Pete Mitchell. Foley sings it, complete to Cannon. And Cannon, they say, did not get out of bounds, plus the interception. Oh, he did not pick up his running back. That's going to be caught by Murphy, the fullback. Clock runs with 50 seconds now. Let's see if that's what they do. Yep. Complete and out of bounds at the 35. This time. Oldy on the offense. 10 yards. Repeat second down. Second down. The new line of scrimmage is the 43. They got to go to the Miami 41 for a first down. Flag comes down. That's going to be for a face mask against uh, Miami. Foley throws it complete at the 29. Nineteen is the correct time. Nineteen seconds until half time. Foley is slung down at the 29. No timeouts left. Something to the corners. And it is intercepted by Miami. 47, Ryan McNeil came away with the interception. So let's take a break. We are at halftime with our score. Boston College 7, the Miami Hurricanes 16. Jesus, what was that? What was that? Beckley's kick. And Miami's going to take it over from the 30-yard line. It hasn't happened for us all year, so we went for one more play, then we would make the desperation kick. Think one second to go. I agree with you after looking at those video tapes. Patton straight up the middle point. He can really get a quick step on you. It's a very long first half as well, Mike. Patton, oh, does he get banged by Marinero. Long snapping for Miami. Snyder's kick, not a good one, off the side of his foot, and in fact now takes a Boston College bounce and goes out of bounds for him. Foley. Ball is almost 
intercepted by Armstead at the 13 of 17. One interception, one touchdown. 144 yards for Foley in the game. Here comes Miami. All out blitz. And the ball is tipped and almost caught as Farms. 16 to 7 our score. Just over 13 minutes to play third quarter. Blitz again. And this one for Mitchell incomplete. And Kushner will kick it straight away. Uh, actually angles it away. Williams makes the catch and goes out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Concentration's not good when you have that many penalties. Toretta with the delay. Patton gets outside and he'll take it to the 15 yard line. Coleman Bell is tied in. What an outstanding game he has had. Quick out pass is caught. 36 Lamar Thomas. Sacked and now a flag comes down to 13 yards. Plus, they're going to get Daryl Spencer, number 35. First down in nearly an acre, 32. Toretta gets it away to Patton. That was almost a two handed pass. Larry Jones, number 23, the freshman from Gainesville, has come in replacing him. Set the screen up, and boy, Boston College had that one smelled out. The line to make the 41. You know, Trevor, just keep the air one out. Just throw it as deep as you possibly can. Hope for something good to happen. It is tipped and almost intercepted. Game with an average of 39.6, and he barely got it away. Michael Reed will let it go. Now it's Foley's turn. Let's see what he can do. Pressure from the backside. Still gets it away, and Chimera was getting mugged. Rid of that football, but he kept a tight end. Junior from Clifton, New Jersey. That's what they're doing. Now he can throw because that was a lateral. Gets it out there, and it is incomplete at the four. Top of the eyes, Dukes, little stiff arm action there. Britain, also Parchinsky, both in the 265, 275 range. They set the screen. Oh, he cut the wrong way. He took it outside instead of coming back in. Darnell Campbell is the lone setback. Be sacked by Smith. Darren Smith, the junior from Miami. Now Miami has to take advantage of that. The Hurricanes leading by nine, 16 to seven. So a little reverse action here. Thomas gets one block. It's Tom Tuberville, linebacker coach from Miami, talking about that last series. Pat breaks it open, and all of a sudden, a 10-yard gain. Straight ahead with the running play, not going to have it. That is Tom McManus again. Oh, what a ball game 53 is at. Ball Snyder will punt it away. Reed calls for the fair catch, and he makes it. Toyota is pleased to donate $1,000 to each player's school's general scholarship fund. Gamble weaves through a hole on the left side and takes it out to the 26-yard line. Takes it right back up the middle, and that will be the BC first down. It's also made a lot of big plays for them. Jamira with the reception, and he will dive forward to the 45-yard line. The only game since he's been at Boston College that he was unable to participate in. So he wanted desperately to be able to play this evening. Big opening for Duke. All 
the way to the 32-yard line of Miami. Again, bring all the linebackers. We'll see how BC handles the blitz. Dukes behind traffic. Inside the 25 to the 23. Tight ends were still going down in the stance when the ball was thrown. This is Campbell. We have less than three minutes to play third quarter. And Boston College is driving. Flag comes down. Tackle is broken. It's inside the 10. If, if this were a basketball game, the cries out of the stands would be, let them play. Total yards this half. Campbell's going to take it to the 20. Nick and I will be picking the Visa players of the game, one from each squad. So stay tuned for that. Foley for the end zone. Touchdown. Thank you very much, Ron. He's walking around with a cellular phone. His wife is expecting a child any minute. <laughs> That's what I understand. And we appreciate him taking time to come on with us. Oh, what a stick at the 19-yard line. Toretta's pass. Incomplete as Copeland didn't catch it with his hands. Nobody is sitting. with the second sack of Toretta. Illegal use of the hands on the defense. Ten yards. Third. Oh. <laughs> okay. Blitz comes up the middle. Toretta puts it up top. And Copeland has been forced out of bounds. That is a no play. So it is fourth down. Snyder barely gets it away. It's a good kick. Ball is fumbled but recovered immediately. Uh, Michael Reed. Seven folks coming. And the pass is dropped by Chamura. It is Miami 16 and Boston College 14. Running play not going to go anywhere. Jesse Armstead stepped up into the hole to make the hit. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. So let's take a timeout. And as we head to the final 15, they are standing here at Chestnut Hill. BC trails by only two. With a third down and 10, though. And they need to advance the ball to the Miami 45 to keep this one alive. Blitz again. It is caught going to be enough for the first down. We'll be short by about a half yard. Come into the short side of the field. He's got all three tight ends on this side. He's going to come over here with it. Campbell has got to be knocked down for a loss. It's Barrow. And look where Miami's going to get the football. Miami's got to run the football. They only had four yards rushing in the third quarter. They have to establish the run. They're completely out of rhythm on offense. Four yards is all Miami had in the entire third quarter. And therein is the difference in the ball game. As the footing, you can tell, is a little bit slick. Toretta has 
a man wide open, Kevin Williams. Works his way to the sideline. It's his first catch of the night, and he'll wind up with nine yards in the play. Patton again. Close to the first down. McManus again. Because of the second effort, he will have the first down. Pass is caught. Oh, my goodness. Spencer held on. First down, Miami, to the 28th. Toretta back across the field, and Martin Patton dropped the football he should have caught. up the middle Toretta gets away and now gets the pass to Patton oh what a job by Toretta <laughs> that is incredible he thinks he's second down what's the record in the Big East of penalties called throw the ball down the field. They've taken it away with the five defensive backs. Stephen Boyd. Snyder kicks this one a mile high, but it's going to go into the end zone. Miami tried to down it at the one-foot line, probably the way everybody thought this ball game would go. They were like a 24-point favorite coming into this ball game. Dukes takes it across the 20. I agree with you. Like this time last year, he was coaching for the Giants on the way to the Super Bowl. Pass is dropped by Mitchell, and now here comes another late flag. But these penalties are, are killing both teams. Dukes, that's a nice cutback. And did you see him secure the ball out on the defensive front for Miami? It's caught at the 30-yard line, and from where they've spotted it, that's going to be a Boston College first down. Nope. Now, now for all you armchair quarterbacks. And the punt goes the other direction. And he's still going to be at minus yardage in return. Maybe he got one on that. There you see the situation. 16 to 14, Miami. Ron, I've run three straight plays. Ball is fumbled as Toretta came out from under center. Now a late flag comes down. It's off on a record-setting night, and then the injury took him out of this football game. Toretta. Spreads it at the 40-yard line. That's caught by Coleman Bell. Into BC territory. Comes the quick, quick out, quick pass. There it is, near sideline to Kevin Williams. Breaks one, breaks two, breaks three tackles, and is down to the 30-yard line. And that's enough for the Miami first down. And you can see the snap trying to catch BC as they're shifting. Ball comes loose. Now, was that bad or not? I think it should have been. Nobody's making a call. They're going to give it to Boston College. And the Miami coaches are out on the field. They're going to change it. They're going to reverse it. They're going to change it and give it back to Miami. Toretta sets the middle screen to Williams. Boy, they ran him right into traffic. 91, Dan Kerr. Toretta on third down. Gets it away, falling down. And Spencer with the reception. That will be the Miami first down. Plus, all the teams they play next year are going to ask him for this film. Patton is drilled and knocked back by Camara. And really developed a sound plan against the nation's number one football team. Toretta 
Good protection over the middle, incomplete. That one was just a little bit behind Bell. Almost intercepted by Charlie Brennan. He already has one turnover. 38-yard field goal attempt by Carlos Huerta. And he knocks it through. Five minutes, 22 seconds left to play in the ballgame. And our new score, the Miami Hurricanes push that lead out to a five-point advantage, 19-14. with 19 to 14 advantage. Chuck Dukes will take it at the two. Oh boy. He won't get back to the 20-yard line. It's Foley tonight, 18 to 26, one interception, 205 yards. But that right there is what has gotten the... Pass almost intercepted, but here comes the pressure in the middle. Pass is almost intercepted by Herbert James. Oh. Miami will not handle the football. What? hit by Tom McManus under four minutes to play that strings it out 5 10 15 count it off at 20 and bring it back because the flag has been thrown down to heaven oh boy I don't think when they grade these officials on Monday they're going to be graded in the A or B column <laughs> Credit that one to Stephen Boyd. Number 50 with a third down conversion. The movement has bothered Miami's offensive line. Coretta's pass is caught. And let's see, did Spencer get pushed out of bounds? First, they say yes. Who's going to give us a spot? The first one would not be the first down. It's been a game of fourth downs. Jones will have the first down. Toretta gets back in the football. Why the number one team in the country? I mean, he, he believes in them. He believes they can pick up a half a yard. This is Pat squares the shoulders, and he's going to wind up across midfield. Toretta's pass is complete. Thomas will hold on for dear life as they were trying to squeeze the ball away. Has a couple. And we're going to give him our awards next week. He'll be on the list. for Thomas and that one BC jumping around on defense again they've done it all night long as the pressure comes right up the middle and Toretta gets it complete and Patton fumbles the football and Boston College has recovered Foley complete out across the 45 they say it doesn't we'll see in the next minute and 10 seconds Foley gets it away that ball is dropped and boy Keith Miller was having to turn around but he had it in his hands the bow scouts
Here comes the pressure, and the looking screen is there. Clarence Cannon will take it for a couple, and that is about it. Splitting him out. Nope, Miami stays in coverage. He only sends four. Foley drills it. It is complete to the 26-yard line. Now the clock starts to move. you got to be ready to go. Shotgun formation. Here they come. Looking for the end zone, and oh, incomplete. Barrel, but he cannot get away from number fifth, uh, 86, Kevin Patrick. Time management right now of the essence for BC, and a flag comes down. It's left. You have to line your receiver. 1914. Miami leads. Foley's going to do just that. He's putting it up, and nobody there. And with that, the clock runs out. There is a penalty on the play. Two number 13s who had outstanding football games tonight. The visiting on the field. The penalty is against Boston College, so this one is now over. And Mike, 19 to 14. Boston College was an underdog by anywhere from 24 to 26 points in this one tonight.